Man, hey guys, Matt here back for another video today. Yes, we are doing it. We are doing an updated figure room. No, I'm not room tour. Um, I'm gonna show you guys every single figure I have. And this time, we're including the women's figures. Because the last two that I did, I never included the women's figures. This time, the women's figures. Did every single part. Don't mind my summer slam stage. Age and ring. <laughs> you guys just freaking decked it out for SummerSlam for some reason. So, first, I'm gonna get through the suited bus referee characters. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. So, we have my custom referee. It's an old Roman Reigns head scan. I cut the hair off, and a few a few weeks ago, he got into a collision and he had a bloody face and an arm. But he decided to keep it on. But he was okay. So,. Yeah, there's my referee, guys. Just an extra shame. It wasn't my Shane McMahon referee, but I kind of want to bring Shane McMahon back. So, and Luke Harper wasn't in WWE anymore, so I'll show you what I did with Shane McMahon later. Alright. Here we have an uh, announcer. I use him as Tom Phillips, or sometimes Corey Graves, and more Tom Phillips. Or Byron Saxon. Here we got an extra Jeff Hardy figure. A. And I took off a hacksaw Jim Duggan, and I took off the face paint and head scan of Jeff Hardy, and put on hacksaw Jim Duggan. So he's my other commentator. Yeah. Here we got my managers. Here we have Kurt Angle and Mick Foley. And now we're going to get into the superstars that will be placed into my ring. So first we have the rated R superstar. Edge. Awesome. So here we go. We got Edge. Next up we have the Viper. Randy Orton, his opponent. At WrestleMania 36. I'll be in... <sighs> what will it be at? The Performance Center. Next up we have EC3. And, for my, and what I did... I, I was doing my money to my peer review my cousin. And... He's Mr. Money in the Bank. So easy to use my Mr. Money in the Bank. We got Braun Strowman. Jinder Mahal. With the headdress on. Really good elite figure. Came with the SmackDown Events ring. So if you want that Jinder Mahal, buy this awesome ring. I recommend this ring. It's probably the best ring ever. Beside and the raw one too, and also I have the SmackDown and Raw stage pop ups too. I know mine's put away because I have my SummerSlam one now. It also comes with a SmackDown commentary table, but this is SmackDown commentary. But on top of the SummerSlam, because I'm doing SummerSlam. Um, we got my WWE champion Dean Ambrose, aka John Moxley on AEW. Here you have Andrade. Elias. <sighs> so many figures. The original bro, Matt Riddle. Got the limitless Keith Lee. I had to fix his hand, it came off. You got Cedric Alexander. Seth freaking Rollins. And we got... My, I, I got myself a custom figure. It's me. I had like a tattoo sleeve and like um, a chest tattoo. And then I, I had to repaint it, but some... I painted the legs on the John Cena, so it looks like black pants. So yeah, there's an extra John Cena there, but that's me technically. And then we have my cousin Chris. Chris Gorgolius. Please subscribe to him. Uh, so yeah, um, what I did, I, I, I added long pants for him, because he didn't want to wear underwear. So I added paper, and they put like squiggly lines on this, and with the bottom. The back doesn't look too good, but I don't really care about the back, I care about the front. But also, this is a Zack Ryder, and I don't really use Zack Ryder, so, Zack Ryder, there we go. So Zack Ryder and my cousin Chris, so me and him both have figures. And back to actual WWE superstars. We got 
Jimmy Uso. He's one of my tag team champions. And his brother, Jay Uso, the other tag team champion. So far, we got through a lot of major superstars. We'll do the women last because they have their own separate area. So let's continue on. He's Dan O'Brien, my cruiserweight champion. Awesome figure. Awesome. There we go. I had to refix the belt. Alright, um, we got more males. We got Stone Cold Steve Austin, 316. We got Drew Mac. Oh, God, his head came off. Hold on, guys. Um, Hold on, guys. There you go, we got Drew McIntyre. He's my hardcore champion. I made like, a custom hardcore champion chip. So there you go, we got Drew McIntyre. And then we have Roman Reigns. And that was the and what that hardcore championship is, it's a big eagle WWE championship. And it's put hardcore stuff on it. It's like my paper. We have another basic Jinder Mahal. I don't really use this one. I use way more of the Elite. But there we go. We got a basic to the Mahal. Oh, we got Dolph Ziggler. We also got Rey Mysterio. And I know this might be stupid, but my 24-7 champion, The Rock. Dwayne The Rock Johnson. <laughs> He's my 24-7 champion. I may have to make him lose it. Alright. Now right, continuing on to all of these figures. So here we go. Get my zombie Braun Strowman figure. Uh, let's move some figures over. Alright. Now we got the Luke Harper. We got my Shane McMahon, but using a Luke Harper body. But I put the Shane McMahon head skin on. It kind of fell off. It kind of, um, when I was like taking off the little carpet head scan, the the piece and the, inside the head came off, so I had to hot glue his head on. But there you go, got my custom Shane McMahon figure. Curtis Axel. Yeah. The Miz. Brock Lesnar, the WWE champion in real life. Rusev. I really outdated Rusev. He doesn't even have that long hair anymore. And so, yeah. We got Cesaro. The one of the WrestleMania 30. Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. We got Tyler Breeze. He's starting to get good again. He beat Austin Theory last night on NXT. Pretty solid match. Then we have his partner, Fondango. So, yeah, we got Fondango. Mm -hmm. And now, time for the new day. So, here we got Xavier Woods. Big E. All former tag team champions. All, and only this mirror the new day, a former WWE World Heavyweight Champion. Kofi Kingston, who beat Daniel Bryan at WrestleMania 35. I'll never forget that moment. He was probably the greatest champion of 2019. <sighs> Here we have John Cena. And then, but this guy had to steal it from him. How dare you, Brock? We got Woken Matt Hardy. Or wait, I should say Broken Matt Hardy. He's broken on AEW, guys. He's Woken or Broken, whatever you want to call him, on AEW. Dynamite. So, do you, if you really want to see Matt Hardy back in action as Woken or Broken, go watch AEW, All Elite Wrestling. He put up a great performance last night. Not a match, but a segment, I guess, with Chris Jericho. What an awesome moment. So, you're empty. He's, he's technically... I, so, now I guess my figure is updated now. He's Woken again. So, there we go. We got Matt Hardy. Woken Matt Hardy. We got K ah! We got Kane. And then we have Woken Matt Hardy's brother, Jeff Hardy. Which I now I think he should come to AEW, not that his brother's there. It'd be, you know, Brother Nero. You should 
like he was on Impact, so I really hope Jeff Hardy comes to AEW. But he's still fine at WWE. So, but and then this is the face paint that came with this Jeff Hardy, which is Hacksaw Jim Duggan, because the old face, the old ass scan for Jeff Hardy, um, kind of got destroyed, so I fixed it. So there you go, we got Jeff Hardy. Actually, you don't only put the Hardys next to each other, the Hardy boys. We got. Oh my God, my figures are twisted. Okay, there. It's probably like one of the longest videos. We got the Big Show. Aiden English. We still got a lot of figures almost. We got Bo Dallas. We got Shorty J, aka Chad Gable. We got James Ellsworth. I guess I did put on this thing. It's funny. Don't put him on the Hardys. What's wrong with that? We got AJ Styles, the phenomenal OC member. And then continuing on with the OC, we got Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows. And, all, and one more member that, I, that should join the OC, Finn Balor. He should join the OC. So he should go back to Raw, join the OC, be a heel with the OC. That would be awesome. We got Bobby Lashley. So I'm running out of room in Jack Gallagher, really outdated figure now. He does, he has like tattoos here now. He, yeah, I had to, uh, gotta update my Jack Gallagher figure. We got Samoa Joe, Baron Corbin or King Corbin, outdated figure too. He doesn't, he doesn't wrestle. He has like um, a shirt now or a tank top still. I can't find it, and he has all blood on him, and yeah, and hair. He doesn't have any hair anymore. So my Corbin's a little outdated. We got Triple H to the game. He doesn't have hair, so my Triple H is also outdated. I have a lot of outdated figures I needed. Well, there's no way I can update that one or that one. Plus, I actually kind of like Baron Corbin and this, this better. We got Shinsuke Nakamura. We got my my other Bronze Strowman, a basic figure. Get these hands. Came with the Wrecking Slam Mobile over right over there. We got Drew Gulak. We got the Fiend Bray Wyatt, my custom. All I did is just put on an extra mask that I made on my Bray Wyatt figure. And then you take off the mask, you should can't. The normal Bray Wyatt is still there. And we got Kevin Owens. I updated. He's updated now because he gets to up to touch his sleeve. And it's a, I have to up fix that. Uh, it looks horrible, but I know he has a dinosaur tattoo here. So I put something there. But my Kevin Owens is pretty much up to date. Michael Strick was also outdated. A, he wears pants, and B, he's a little more fat, and C, he has long hair. But here we go, we got Chris Jericho. But he does have updated tattoo right there, so I'm good with that. So we got Chris Jericho. We got Vince McMahon. Or Mr. McMahon. We got one Undertaker. I, I kind of cut this hair off. I think it looks cool with that. And then we also have my original Undertaker, which I used more than that one. With the long hair. I think this Undertaker is really cool. So I got Undertaker. Just so got my two Undertakers and Kane, which is somewhere in this pile of figures. I got Scott Dawson. Batista. Kind of updated. I had to kind of fix it up. We got Pac, aka Neville. Dash Wilder. And finally, my last figure. Oh, well, wait, there's still more to this video. If you have the women's figures, you got Sami Zayn. Right, so let's just put a lot. Like, all my figures are gonna go in the ring right now. Alright, now let's get on to the women's figures. My broken Naomi, I had to fix that up. Her leg's gone. I don't know what. I think my friend, yeah, my friend was playing with it and it broke. Same thing with Charlotte. I tried to fix it on, but the arm came off and it's gone. We got Charlotte. Those are all, those are my only broken women's figures. And now the other ones are good. We got Maurice. We got Bailey, which is missing that ponytail, but she doesn't even wear that ponytail anymore, so I'm not even that, 
that upset about that. We got Bailey. And we got the Bella Twins and the Gimbri. Future WWE Hall of Famers, because they're hopefully they'll they're gonna be inducted soon. We got Zelina Vega. Right. We got Sarah Porter fast guys. Yeah, I've been making you stare at things there, not figures a lot. Right there. We got Shayna Baszler. Ronda Rousey, and also she, she's my she's my miss Money in the Bank. Ronda Rousey. We got my SmackDown Women's Champion, even though she's a Raw Women's Champion, Becky Lynch. Awesome figure, really love this figure. Better than my old Becky Lynch, that broke. Got Carmella, my custom NXT Women's Champion, and I use this thing as an Intercontinental Champion for the women's though. So yeah, I've got Carmella as my champion. Carmella, Mandy Rose, Sonya Deville, Alexa Bliss. Nikki Cross, and finally, the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka. And that is, that is it, guys. Is it? Oh my god, my ring is so full. And that's the women's bin, and then this is the men's basket, where I keep all the figures. Completely empty, because they're all in this ring. Mm. Just look at this pile of figures in my SmackDown main event ring. Oh my god. It's so heavy. I want to break it though. But yeah, guys. That is all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. So leave a comment down below on any future videos you want to see. And I'll see you next time. That is out.